guys, so today we're going to be doing a five first impressions with some Ulta Beauty and some Wet n Wild products. And the first thing I wanted to try out was this Ulta Beauty Sculpting Brow Pencil in medium brown. It looks like this. It has a little spoolie on the end. And then this kind of has like a teardrop shape, which is a little bit different. I do have one that I've tried like this, and I kind of really liked it, so I'm excited to try this one. But let's see... How it is actually it's more tapered it's way more tapered on the top and then it expands more on the bottom so I'm a little bit nervous about this okay so let's get started Ooh, I feel like this is gliding on pretty easily like it's not depositing too much product if you have a light hand which I like because I don't like to like overdo it look kind of like a marker going on my eyes um, the color has a little bit of a reddish tone to it though that's the only thing that I'm not sure I think is my other um, pencil like this is like a deeper brown that I just feel like it looks a little bit different but it's not really bothering me that much I'm just letting you know if you don't like a redder hue you might not like this one maybe it is more noticeable I feel like with my skin tone I can tell that it's lighter and more red than the actual hairs which is a little bit different but that might be my lights also like brightening it up so not really sure but the control is there and I don't feel like the shape of the pencil is affecting how I'm drawing them in it feels like normal it's actually making the little line to like make it thinner work a little bit better because you can switch it to be thinner and it's just easier for me to hold it this way at the end with the thinner side. So that worked great, actually. Okay, I'm impressed with this. Let's do the other side. Okay, I'm okay with how that looks. I think the pencil did great, it glided on amazingly. I'm not sure about the tint, so we'll see if I like it throughout the day once I'm out of these bright lights, but for right now, I like it, so I'll put it in the description box below and let you guys know my thoughts on it at the end. Um, then I want to try the Sweat n Wild Mega Jelly Eyeshadow. It looks like this. It's like a little pot, and it's in the shade Code Red. You can see the back there. Ooh, it has like a little plastic sifter not sifter but this little plastic piece that comes off what mine looks like all dried out like it looks full on the sides but this is the first time I'm opening this and look at that I don't know that makes me kind of angry I mean it's cream but I barely have products so I feel like completely legit like that's empty and I promise you like, I bought it a little while ago, but I have not used this, not even once, so I feel like completely gypped. Completely, completely gypped. And there's like barely any on the lid, so it's not that, I don't, it doesn't look like it's leaked at all. There's nothing on the outside. I feel like that's all that it came with. Like, maybe it was jiggly and wet, and it dried up. I don't, I don't know. That's the shade right there. I'm just watching on my hand. It's a pretty, pretty color, so I'll still try it on my eyes for you guys, but I, that's upsetting. Because I don't want to just go in with that color only, I'm just going to go into my older Wet n Wild um, Rose, Rose in the Air palette, this one here, and put some shadow down first, especially in my crease and like the outer corner, and then we'll put it on to like spice up the look. I have freshly washed brushes and that's an amazing feeling. So I'm going to take this bottom transition shade down here and work that into my crease. And I have a mirror right here that I'm looking at. Then in the brow bone I'm going to put this shade right here, the lighter tone shade. And then on the outer corner, sorry, so I'm going to take this shade right here.
going to blend that all in. Love it. Now to try this waste of money, I feel like. <laughs> that makes me so angry. I'm just going to take it on my finger and dab it on because that feels easier to do. It's really pretty, but it feels dried up on my fingers. Like, I feel like this should feel more wet. It is, but it's not. It feels like paint. I'm just really bummed that I didn't get that much product. I was duped. That is really pretty, though. It's a little bit darker than I thought it would be, but still very, very pretty. So hopefully this doesn't like move or crease on me. It feels like it's dry. It doesn't feel wet on my eyes at all. It doesn't feel sticky at all. So hopefully it doesn't transfer into the crease either. Like, you know, when sometimes when you're talking, it will get stuck to your crease. Like the skin will touch and then it'll like stick every time you blink. That is the most annoying feeling in the world. So I'm really hoping that this doesn't happen, but I feel like I have like enough uses, probably like 10 uses out of this jar because it's all dried up. Let me know if this has happened to you guys because if it's something like across the board then I wouldn't recommend this product. But the color is really really pretty. It's more purple than red like I thought it would be. That would be more cranberry but this is darker. But still a really beautiful color and the formula does feel amazing in my eyes so I'm not going to judge the fact that I don't have very much product in here but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how this product does. And I am going to do a full all day wear test on it so keep your eyes out on that. So I'm going to apply eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay so I put mascara on the top lash line and eyeliner and on the bottom lash line I'm just going to take a little bit of this kind of like brown purple shade it has a little bit of sparkle but it's this one right here and put that on the bottom lash line because it's going to kind of be like the best of both worlds And in the inner corner, I'm going to add a little bit of this gold shade right here in the inner corner. Because it's really pretty. And I'll brighten it up a little bit because I have it pretty dark. Big contrast from the last, the last video that I did, which I hope you guys enjoyed because it was very colorful and very fun to make. And I'm just going to add mascara to the bottom lash line. Okay, so next up, I wanted to try this Ulta Beauty Natural Glow Matte Bronzer. I haven't tried any bronzer from them, so this is kind of exciting, but that's what it looks like here. And then, it does look matte. No shimmer, nothing whatsoever in the pan, so really, really pretty. And let's see how this does. has an ashy tone to it that I don't know if I love. It looks like it would be more orange than dark like this. And I also thought it would be darker. I don't feel like it's showing up a whole heck of a ton. Like, are you seeing this? Like, I'm grabbing some. I see it on here. Let's see. Trying not to block you guys, but I'm like really trying to look in this mirror and see what is happening. I have like a bigger mirror right here but I feel like it blocks the camera so I'm trying not to put it like right in the center but I don't know you guys. I'm gonna add more because I don't feel like my cheeks are like really contoured at all. I can my hand to see. Oh my gosh like I am rubbing my finger in this. It's on there. This is my hand swatch underneath. Nothing. That's like nothing. Why did I not? Let me put this at Ulta Beauty. It just looks so dark in the paint. And this is doing nothing. Okay, maybe that's a little bit better. Like I'm really digging in here. <sighs> this is not my day with makeup, I feel like. <laughs> I 
Okay, now I feel like it's doing something better that I'm really digging in. So I feel like I'm going to be done with this product really, really fast as well because I'm like swiping this in there. But I still don't feel like it's overly anything. Like I definitely didn't over contour. I can just see it showing up right now. But I wonder how many swipes on my hand it takes to like darken this up. Oh, it's buildable. I mean, it's getting darker. But that'll be the key and I'll run out of this really fast. So also not worth my money at all. Like Wet n Wild's cheaper and does way better. Now we're going to try the Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Highlighter and this is in the shade, what's the name of the shade? Oh, um, Blaze and Glaze. So it looks like this. It's like the same packaging as the eyeshadow and it's that jelly material. Ooh, it has like a silver piece that I gotta take off. Ooh, it's hard to get off, but this is super, comes with like this thing to peel off. Now this has enough product, like, I think that's how the eyeshadow was supposed to look, and then it just dried out, so definitely has a jiggly, like, jello texture to it, but I don't feel like it's gonna fall out. That was really, really stupid of me to have done, but I just wanted to see what would happen. Let's feel it. Ooh, this is, like, super duper wet, opposite of the eyeshadow that was, like, harder to apply. I am definitely going to use my fingers for this and like gently tap it on. Okay, so I'm going to apply it with my finger and let's see what happens. I'm nervous. It is super duper wet and cooling though. It feels amazing on my skin. Ooh, but it's harder to blend out. It's like all of a sudden dry. Like it dried so fast. I mean, it's pretty, but it's not like... Bam in your face gleam of sunshine either, which is good for some people. I just, oh no. What do I want today? Maybe it's my mood. I'm like in a funky mood. Sorry guys, I hope that doesn't translate. It's not like I'm in a bad mood, but I'm irritated with this whole process today. Mm. I'm not really a fan of this. It's just not doing a lot. It's easy to apply, but then, like, you, I would recommend putting this tiniest bit, like, I'm scraping some off on my finger and, like, building it up because it does dry so fast. And, like, you can pat it all day and that looks super shimmery, but then when you rub it in, it's, like, hard to rub in. Is this just me? Am I just not... I feel like I'm being not very gentle with my skin at all with this. And I can see it, but I can't see it at the same time. So I'm just going to add a little bit of another layer. Because I like a banging highlight, and this isn't really serving it for me. And I love all of the other Wet n Wild highlights, but this one is also kind of a dud to me. And because I'm trying to like really blend this out, I brought it too far. You know, I make this mistake so you guys don't, and so you don't waste your money. What the heck? Okay, well, that was kind of a mistake. I just feel like so ghostly because that contour really in person doesn't look too contoured and this just looks pale and not as golden as it does in the pan. It looks more, I don't know, like a light, 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 pale thing. I'm going to have to like fix this with blush, you guys, because I'm not in love. And I have a mess of the lid aluminum here in this packaging. So I can't even close it right now without making a mess. So we're just going to set that off to the side. Now I have a ton that got on my finger. Okay, last but not least, actually no, I'm going to put blush on before I try the next product because I don't want to look in the mirror and see this, like, paleness going on here. So let's brighten up my face with some blush. To be on theme, I'm just going to use Wet n Wild's Color Icon Blush in Pearlescent Pink because I know that I like this blush and it should brighten everything up pretty easily. Yes, add tons of color to my face because that's what I need. <laughs> and I'm going to be heavy handed because I feel like I look 
kind of like I'm dying. I'm looking in this mirror and like right now I've been really trying to blend this in but the blush is not sitting on top of the highlight whatsoever. Like it's going under and it's just really shiny right here which is fine like I picked up the glow but it won't sit over top of the highlight which I know it's a powder whatever but I just I just don't like how it works and a lot of times it still works usually any highlight even if it's cream highlight with a blush on top but not with this one so just letting you know that's not gonna work and I'm not gonna cake on too much blush because I feel like crazy in person but I don't love how that sits at all so I'm gonna add some lip balm to try the next product which is actually this Wet n Wild Snow Melt Lip Powder in the shade Blizzard Berry. It looks like this. And I'm excited to try it out. Ooh, it looks like a matte liquid lipstick. So this is the shade right there, but it's very, very pretty. So I'm excited. It might be too much with this eye look, but you know what? We're going to try it out and see what happens. But I do like that applicator. It is a doe foot applicator. all can see that but like I could do it the initial line but in the center nothing's happening like it's not gliding on as pigmented and when I move it back and forth it's like wiping it away like it looks like I just ate something add another layer maybe I didn't have enough on there that added more pigment but it's moving it every time I swipe it this is not my day, you guys. It's not. And the more I move it, the more it comes out on the sides here. <laughs> what in the heck is happening here? Um, let's, let's try the top row. This is just to show you guys, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to wear this lip color today. No, there's no way. It is way lighter. It's like a brown purple on the inner part of my lips. It looks darker like a lip liner with a non-matching lipstick, even though it's supposed to be all one color. Like, the applicator is fine. The, um, it bends as well, so it makes it easier. But what the heck is happening? It looks like the middle of my mouth is dying, like turning into a zombie, like, black brown shade. Can you see that? And I know my lips wouldn't be like that, but when I'm talking, you can 100% see it. It's like the more I apply, the darker the center part gets. And I know that's like dry skin a little bit, but I just put the chapstick on so it's not super dry. And it looks like there's a bruise there, and there's not. I'm not a fan of this at all. And now that I look even more close up, you can see where it's lighter here. Let me see. Kiss proof test. It does transfer. Oh, what do you look like at that? It literally got lighter everywhere. Like, at where I just kissed is literally the imprint. There's like a line on the top going through the center from the kiss, basically. Well, that was a fail. <sighs> Went wild. I love you guys so much with everything. But today, I didn't really love your products. I mean, I like the eyeshadow. Like, it's feels really nice it still doesn't feel sticky I'm interested to see at the end of the day how it works but I am really sad that this is how it came and again it's basically empty so that's very disappointing this lip color not happening not happening I don't even know when I could wear it I would have to mix it with other things to even get use out of it because this isn't good at all this, I feel like I stacked on my face and nothing really happened. Um, I'll keep stacking it and using it because finally it did show up after building it up, but I feel like I'm going to be done with this really, really fast. And this jelly highlight, I mean, 
it's buildable, but it's hard to blend, so it's not my favorite thing in the world. And the brow pencil, I actually really like. So this is like the two products that I would recommend right now at this point in time. We'll see. This does still have a little bit of a reddish hue, so, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not having a good makeup day, you guys. But that's what I'm here for is to test things out for you guys and so you don't waste your money on things. Or you may like it, you know, it's relative, it's makeup, and I'm not going to let it ruin my day, even though it's a little bit annoying. I think I just get annoyed that what I'm mad the most is I spent money on something and it's not in here, but it happens, and that's life, and this is really not important. So, yeah, that's everything for this video for now. Um, I will insert now the end of day clip, so see you in the future. Hey guys, so it's the end of the day. I've literally had this on for about 10 hours and pretty much my first thoughts are kind of true. Like, let's start with the eyebrow pencil. Looking here and I do really feel like it's redder than my regular hair so you can like definitely notice that I filled them in. So I feel like this product glided on easily. I just need a little bit of a different color. But I do like the product. And this one was in the shade medium brown. So I might just get dark brown next time. Um, but I still feel like I'll use that because it was pretty easy to use. The Ulta Beauty Natural Glow Matte Bronzer. I just hated the fact that I had to put so much on and it still doesn't really look like I have that much on at all and I put way more than I would anything else um, so it's not my favorite bronze in the world but I will use it since it is super buildable so if you really want like a really light bronzer then I would recommend this one but if you don't I, I just would pass and get something else that shows up a little bit better I mean it's kind of cool that it's like buildable I'm on the fence about it I'm gonna play with it more but first impressions, not my favorite thing. The Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Eyeshadow in Code Red. A, we know I didn't like the packaging this morning, and I can tell you that it was a complete fail. The eyeshadow has completely like lowered to the bottom half of my lids on both sides, and it's like cracking and disappearing. You can see my lid space like everywhere. I feel like it's super oily. I mean it never got sticky but like it's just crusty and gross looking and I started noticing that about three hours after I put it on. So not super long wearing. Like I get I had this on my eyes for a long time but if it can't even last three hours that's not that great. So I don't know. I don't know if that's because it's dried up or what. I have no idea but it was a fail. The Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Highlighter it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing in the world now, as much as I thought it was this morning. I built it up, and you can see that it's there way more so than I thought earlier. Um, I think it was just the bright lights earlier also, like, making it seem different, but it is hard to blend. Like, it dries really, really fast, and putting any powder over it doesn't really look that great. I still don't love how my blush looks and it's dissipated and I like it more now than what I did this morning, but it took a couple hours for it to look a little bit decent, but I feel like it magnified my pores so much more, um, which a lot of cream highlights tend to do that and highlights in general tend to do that, but it just didn't sit well. You could see that there was a layer of highlighter, the layer of blush over the layer of foundation and I'm not about that look. I like it to like meld, mesh well, and I feel like setting sprays really do help all of it mix together and set on your face and lay better. Um, and the setting spray didn't help whatsoever with this product. So I don't know. I will use it like very sparingly, and I feel like I would just keep it right here. That way, it doesn't mi mix with the blush later on. Um, you could tell I'm tired. I'm like mixing my words. But, yeah, if I stay, like, right here, it stayed pretty well on my nose. My cupid's bow, it didn't really stay at all. Um, I mean, the color isn't bad at all, so I feel like I can still use it. It's just not my favorite. I love all Wet n Wild highlights in general, the powder ones, but 
This one I don't love. And they have, to compare it, the Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. This one I love, and I don't feel like it does anything that this does, and they're basically the same color. So I prefer this formula over this one, for sure. I don't know why this one isn't hard to, like, dry. I'll put it on just to, like, double check because it's been a tiny little bit. Okay, so I'm dotting a tiny little bit of this one on to see, like, how it dries and how it wears, just for comparison. See, it's really wet when you put it on, so it gives me time to move it into place, and that's what I think I'm missing from this one, which I'll put it on again so you can see is, like, I dab the faintest little amount on this cheek, and it's dry for a second, and now I'm going to, like, budget And I'm trying to like push it. Like I'm digging in harder to try to blend it in. Where this one is still actually able to be moved. And it just glided on better. I don't know. The texture is better. But the color is the same. So you know what? I will give it more points than I did. I don't completely hate this product. Um, and then the last thing, the snow melt lip powder. I really do hate it. I'm going to apply it one more time so you guys can see. And uh, dry skin? A little bit, but I'm zoomed in a little bit closer right now so I want you guys to really, really see what I'm talking about. Like when I go back to swipe it, it's just not even at all. It's like darker right in the center, you see that? And then it goes over. And I have to re-dip because there's not enough product to make that even. And when I swiped over, now this one is more pigmented. And it's kind of just a mess. And now it kind of like dries. And then it leaves this dark line there. Which is not very cute at all. And it just darkens like... It's clinging to dry skin and then it's making it 10 times more darker than the actual shade is, if you can see. And I'm doing it super messily, but that's because I'm going to wash all this off in a second. But I was just surprised at how much I don't like this. I don't know. I'm very disappointed in it. <laughs> super duper disappointed in it. I feel like I'm only going to be able to use it for like Halloween looks. I don't know. Messy zombie makeup would be fun with it, but that's because it's going to look a mess and that's precisely what I could use it for. I don't know. Yeah, see? It looks really, really bad. It doesn't feel dry. That's the only thing I like about it is it feels nice, but nope. And even when I went like this to like mix it, see? it. It totally just rubs it off and moves it to another location. So, see, I thought I got it in my teeth. Um, basically, for the rundown, I do recommend the Ulta Beauty Pencil. This one's buildable, and I feel like if you like a really light bronzer, you will like this. I like a more heavier, well, medium to heavy bronzer. I like that it's buildable, but at the same time, it's way too light, and I feel like I had to really, like, apply and apply more to get it to the desired effect that I like personally, so maybe a darker color, even though this looks pretty dark, but, um, it says natural glow, maybe that's why, but it's in medium, so maybe if I choose the dark, I have no idea. Um, this wasn't as bad as I thought, but again, it's harder to blend than the Hello Halo version, and then don't like this, don't like this. So, a little bit better, because I thought the only thing I liked earlier was the pencil. Um, so yeah, final rundown, that's like the end of day, this is how it's looking, and I'm sorry it's a negative video, I hate being in a negative space like that, but I just, I just got mad that this really had no product in it. But that's everything for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, sorry it was like so negative, but I want to be honest with you guys, and I really just didn't like them, and so hopefully if you like it, great. If you don't, or you were on the fence about it, you know, hopefully this was helpful. 
You can try it at your own risk though because everything works different on everybody and everybody has different preferences. And I love a lot of Ulta Beauty and Wet n Wild products. I just didn't like these specific ones for the most part. So yeah, that's everything and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.